age is just a number. You are not too old to become who you want to become. The famous mathematician Hardy once said something like, mathematics is a young man's game. But that doesn't mean he was right. Plenty of other mathematicians have crushed that idea. Wiles, Simons, and others who have done great things later in life. So it doesn't matter how old you are or what you're trying to learn. There is still time. And you know, the more you do a thing, the better you get at doing that thing. And I don't mean just like the more math you learn, the better you get at math. I mean, the more math you learn, the better you get at learning math, the better you get at sitting down and focusing for hours at a time. That is a skill that is learned. It is learned. The more you do it, the better you get at it. You are not too old, my friends. I was once in a room with a man. I don't, I don't think he's still alive. I, I hope so, but he was very, very old. This man must have been in his 70s or 80s, very old man. He received his PhD from Harvard and he was a mathematician, he was French. And he told me that when he was younger, he could spend eight to 10 hours in the library pouring over books for ideas, trying to learn mathematics, trying to figure out his research. And that in his current age, and again, the man must have been in his 70s or 80s, he can only spend three to four hours before needing a break. Co compare that to those techniques you see on YouTube and on the internet about studying for 25 minutes and then taking a five minute break. No, no, this man was a savage because he was a professional mathematician. He was a professional at not just mathematics, but at being able to focus, being able to sit down and learn. So whatever you are trying to learn or accomplish in life, just know that it is never too late. It doesn't matter what it is, as, as long as it's not something that is gonna require like, you know, physical prowess, you know, because when you do get older, you know, you get slower, um, you don't recover as faster. So, you know, if you wanna be in the NBA and you're 55 years old, it's probably not gonna happen. But for learning, for, for exercises of the mind or other things that you can do that uses your brain, which is the most powerful thing you have, it is not too late for you, my friends. It doesn't matter how old you are. So if you're 50 years old or 40 years old or 30 years old or 25 years old, and you're thinking it's too late for you to do whatever it is you want to do, maybe you want to be an engineer and you think, who's going to hire an engineer who's 55? You can't think like that. You cannot think like that. You have to believe in yourself and believe that you can do it because you can. You can always find examples of people who have been successful, of people who have done things much greater than you or I, and that alone should be inspiration. And you can always find examples of people who have done great things when they were 17 years old and think, oh, I missed out. I should have done this. I should have done that. Should have does nothing for you but cause grief and regret, and you cannot live your life in regret, my friends. You are never too old. And that is the message for today. Become who you want to become. You know, the first time I heard that, you know, become who you want to become, it was from a bodybuilder. There was a, it was a motivational video on YouTube. Arnold Schwarzenegger was talking about, you know, become who you want to become. I thought, become who you want to become. I never thought about it that way. That was in the early 2000s. And I remember that video and I remember Arnold saying that I thought that's interesting. And Arnold's a good example because Arnold Schwarzenegger, you know, he came to the United States. He was an immigrant. He came here, I think, with nothing. And he was successful in bodybuilding. And then he went on to do movies. People told him there was no way he could be in the movies because his accent was ridiculous. They, they, they told him, no, 
because of his accent, and, but he did not give up. And then he became a politician, right? So that is the, the, the career, the life of a man who has accomplished many things, even, even later in life. And so, you know, when, when you think that it's too late, when you think that you're too old to become what you want to become, think about Arnold or think about someone else, whoever your heroes are. I'm sure you have heroes. I'm sure you have people that you look up to, people who you respect. Use those as inspiration and just know that it is never too late for you. Again, it doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter. When I started college, I was 24 and I thought it was too late for me. I thought I was the old guy in class. I was an idiot. You know, I mean, come on. It is never too late. And if you're 45 or 55 or 65, same thing, right? I've had students that were in their 60s and 70s. It is, it is never too late. As long as you're alive and as long as you have free will, you can make the decision to do whatever you want in this world. Believe it. Believe it. Stop believing the negativity. Stay away from it. Stay away from the noise. Focus on your goals. Focus on the ones that you care about, your friends and family. You can do anything, my friends. And that is the message from this video. That is the message. It is never too late. Speaking of math, if you want to learn mathematics, I have courses. There should be no mistakes. They are on Udemy, which is a reputable website. If you get them, use the links from my website, mathsorcer.com. It just has all the courses there on one page. Just click those links, that helps me greatly. And I have courses in you know, calculus one, two, three, differential equations, abstract algebra, um, analysis, which is advanced calculus, abstract, yeah, abstract algebra, said that already, trigonometry. I have books, tons of books, math books, motivational books, silly books, all kinds of books. Links in the description. The key takeaway from this video is that you can still become who you want to become, right? You can still become that. If you want to learn math and that's what you want to do, become that. If you want to do physics, if you want to be an engineer, maybe you want to be an electrician, maybe you want to do something else. It doesn't matter what, it doesn't matter how strange it is. I mean, who the heck studies math, right? My friends used to mock me for studying mathematics. They would laugh at me because they would say, you know, you're not going to get a job with math. And they used to say, don't do it, man. I'm like, no, I like math. We used to always joke about it. And most of them were engineers, you know, and they have good lives. I saw them on Facebook once and, you know, we're not friends anymore, but I know they have lives. I saw them and they looked happy and, you know, they had jobs. So it worked out for them, you know? So yeah, you, you can do anything in this world, my friends. Stay strong.